Yes, we have installed Antergos Mate on our system. It's in virtual box and we can maximize it. So you see just that one, full screen mode. So this is Mate. Um, nothing has been installed yet. This is a bit awkward because of the screen we just made bigger. Doesn't matter. We're going to install all the software and all the programs we need. We have already a lot of software. We should go over them. So we have Chromium, Calculator, May Terminal, Praga, Pluma, all applications. A lot of stuff. Let's go to the all. And then you just follow along. Appearance is good. Assistance, technologies, blah, blah, blah. Gaia will be our file um, manager. That's interesting to remember the word. And then uh, displays. I have made Firefox. Keyboard shortcuts will need that. Our LibreOffice has been installed. And main menu, main color selection. I rather use GPIC, but it's uh, the way it's an application to know what hexadecimal color you have. And the main terminal is important to remember, the main system monitor. So a little bit different with the word made in front of it. In Praga to listen to music. Sound, Steam, videos, and burning stuff, and external. So that's that. That's what we have already. And now we install the software like GIMP, Inkscape. We did not see those. All applications, graphics. So nothing of the, of the sort. So we just Google or we type GitHub. If we see something, let's kill it again sometimes happens and then Firefox again see if it's improved yep it's improved so oh space github there we go 66 repositories I have to add one more no 67 67 why does it say 67 six then okay so we're in the middle of working articles on ericdupoir.be all about Antergos. You have different kind of desktop environments and at this point we're going to install Antergos Mate. So all there's to find here is an installation folder and we can start with this and we can end up with this or many other ways of uh, fine tuning your desktop and we're gonna do some stuff. Okay, we need those scripts. You can always check out what's inside. You can open it and you can read what's inside of such a script. You can also go to raw and then control A, control C, control V. It's in your personal computer file and then run it. So that's that, but I will not do that. That's, that will be taking too long. I wanna clone everything. I wanna press here and then go to Eric's home, create folder, I'm gonna call it data, and inside this one I'm gonna git clone something, but the question is sudo pacman minus s, do I have git? Let's check, git is not installed, yeah, it is installed Eric, what are you saying? Reinstalling, so in mate, and it's only I think in mate, that git is already installed. So, no, I don't want to install it. It's there, I'll prove it. Git clone, right mouse click, paste, enter. And there you go. We have now the complete uh, GitHub cloned on my uh, personal space here. These are not required. These are the ones I want. Okay, that one there, open in terminal and that one there. Let's make it a bit bigger for you to see what I'm doing. Customize thermal. Let's change everything. But I want to change at the same time. Space bigger. Like so. No menu bar. Mm -hmm. Colors. I like to have it trans transparent. And here it is transparent. So you can make it more or less transparent like so 
We'll use colors from the system team. It's a bit different. Scrolling, no scrolling, thank you. Disabled, and I want to scroll a limit. And that's it. Let's kill it again and see if it's to our liking. That's better. Now I'm gonna explain you some stuff about the scripts as well. We've just installed Antegos. Antegos has checked all the mirrors. So running these things for uh, to have the fastest mirror is a bit redundant. It's already been taken care of. So we start off with 040. Checking if we get this install, just do that. What is he doing? He is display. Oh, LibreOffice. So I'm gonna fix that, that LibreOffice is not installed. So open with Pluma, which is a very small program, not that big. Right mouse click, open with another application. Let's go to the pop from Pluma, like this. Remember this application, okay. And now that's much better. Let's see if we can change as well here the editor, nope, the font, yes, the font is good, a bit bigger, and I kind of like the solarized dark or the light, I don't know, Oblivion, let's take Oblivion. So what it does is check is wget installed, yes, if not uh, install it, but most of the time in any distro it is installed, but checking anyway. And then it's going to find out if Packer, uh, it's going to install Packer anyway. So if Pacman is installed, then and so on is already installed. Else, if it's not installed, then you're going to install everything. So some software it's need it is going to need to install everything and to make the package and so on and so on. It will take a bit too long to explain all that, but it's going to install Packer. And why Packer? Packer can be used now to Spotify, for instance. Packer Spotify. So this is the AUR, Arch User Repository. You can install lots, I mean lots of programs. And you have to find them. And all you have to do now is type a number, like for instance Spotify 0, but you also want number 3. And you type 0 and space and three and space and five and space and eight and so on. Control C, I don't want any of these, but that's why we install Pagger, to be able to get all these AUR packages. Next up is 100. 100 is no, no AUR, it's just the plain old uh, repositories and the programs that have been uh, enlisted in these repositories are the basis, are the core. So okay, let's uh, install all those. Uh, GIMP, Inkscape, Evolution, you see here, Evolution. Let's take a look. I promised some folks on Google Plus to be a bit more verbose as the, as the command word sounds, to speak a little bit more about the, the, the scripts here. So if you come from Debian, sudo apt install, installing stuff, but here it's sudo pacman minus s, and I've added these lines to say, I don't want to, all these questions all the time, from yes, yes, I want this, yes, I want this, yes, I want this. So no confirm, just install it, I know it's good, I know it works, and needed is if I rerun the script, if there's an error, for instance, and you rerun the script, you don't install everything again. So it's already installed, it just skips it, that's quite fast. So if it is already there, skip it, that's needed. And everything is alphabetically, you can follow it where and what I want to install, and you can stop it or delete it. If you don't want Terminator, just delete the lines, here the, the, the text and it's gone. If you put a hashtag in front of such a line, like so, then everything is blanked out, it will not be installed, but the complete line will not be installed, and so on. So, the scripts are actually there to make my life easier. Rather than typing it one by one, I collect programs, I find programs, and say, I want to have this one really for, every, for all time's sake. Eh? 
and uh, I want to keep it. Okay, so that's 100. And 200. And what I call the extra software. What is extra software? That's a software coming from AUR. So a lot of software is not installed, as you can see. Not going to be installed, not going to be installed. So I'm going to install NeoFetch. I'm going to install Spotify and Sublime Text. Only three programs and a fixer for the icons. So we he see here that Sublime Text is being installed. So that's been done with Packer. Let's take a look at the program. Install Sublime Text we were talking about. What's inside? We see that we want to install Sublime Text development, dev. And it's going to be installed with Packer. If Packer is installed, then installed with Packer. If Packer is not installed, then installed with Packer. If Packer is Packer is not installed, then installed with Yoast. So there are three different uh, what they call AUR helpers. So to help you find stuff in AUR, and this little program just takes care. And if it's installed, if it's okay and it is installed, then you say it's installed. And otherwise, you get this message not installed. Then we have four programs that were not correct. So the icons were not correct. That points to a specific place, user, share, icons, high color, for instance. And it should be just play on Linux or it should be named hard info and not a completely hard coded path. So that's been fixed with this little program on top here. Hard coder fixer. So that's the program. Going to number 200 we did. Now the fun stuff. Why do I call it the fun stuff? Because those are the elements that will embellish and beautify our system. We need teams, we need icons, we need cursors, we need fonts to make it a beautiful um, desktop. So number 300 is just that making our system beautiful but of course we need applications and that's 100 and 200 to run our stuff to do our work slash to do our fun what is installed so awesome awesome font is installed like so awesome font we install the conky conky areola which we are currently doing then we'll install Sardi Extra and the Sardi icons and the Surf icons. The art theme, which is the blue one, the standard one from uh, Horse3180, if you want to Google it. Plank themes, 100 themes for the plank. Choose one to your liking, depending on the wallpaper, for instance. And then our cursor theme. When things go too slow, as you can see, this is no download speed. So you do Ctrl C, arrow up, rerun it. And as you can see, that's the download speed we should have. It's already done. So the extra has been downloaded. So we are up here somewhere. Extra. Now we are downloading Sardi, which is here from SourceForge. Surfing. We are back on GitHub. Done. Now we are making done already. Our team is done already. Please know we are already at the finish. Done. This is the iCandy software installed. iCandy software installed. Good. Then we can, and we should take a look at it first, because that's a bit specific. Let's take a look. Lots of stuff that will not be installed, that I've decided not to install, but I am going to install the Noto fonts. I'm this time not going to install Nemo, because I like this uh, file manager that comes from Linux Mint. I'm not going to install it, but I am going to install something specific for Mate, Mate Tweak. So, okay, fine, run it. Not of fonts because I like the font. It's coming from Linux Mint, and Mate Tweak because we need to tweak our system. We need this program, Mate Tweak. Okay. What's next? 500 but 500 is for sharing a folder with other people at home 
So I'm not going to install that. And actually, our program, phase one, install all the needed software is done. Next up is the tutorial how to tweak our mate system to be beautiful. Okay. Virtual box, uh, keyboard, the right control F, and we're gonna stop here.